Ah, it's a beautiful morning here in the Philippines. Bye bye, City Leyte. Mammy and I are getting ready to do our usual daily routine. But before we get started with today's video, I want to tell you, I would like to thank you for stopping by. I will never take your support for granted. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, the Philippines is a jungle. You won't survive here if you can't take the appearance of a gecko or a lizard crawling through the ceiling of your house every now and again. They're keeping everything squared away. They're your friends. Do not kill the lizard or the gecko or you will be overrun with spiders and mites and fleas and flies and all kinds of sorts of ickier things. So you leave the lizards and the geckos alone to do their job and you'll be happy. You'll be very, very happy. Take my word for it. It's a jungle out there. There's the proof. You live in a tropical climate. There are bugs. You shouldn't be moving here if you're afraid of bugs and the occasional cobra snake. <laughs> or any kind of snake for that matter. Uh, yeah, it usually starts this way. A little bit of cloud cover and then in a couple of hours it will be burning up. It'll be hotter than hell in here. So what am I talking about today? In my humble opinion, parents are not enablers if they allow their adult children to live in their home and even to raise their families there. Makes all the sense in the world to me. Then why do parents keep talking to their generation Zers and telling them, you gotta get out of the house, you gotta be on your own, you got to start working when you're of adult age. That type of thinking is old school. What? Just add stressors to your family in a whole bunch of different ways. I was having a conversation with John, good friend of ours who lives here. And uh, we got to talking about this and he said, my kids and their families are always welcome in my home. They could live here forever. John, I have a question for you. Yeah. Very important one. Yeah. Do you have any plans of ever kicking your kids out of the house? It's like in the US, they would kick the kids out of the house. As soon as they turn 18, yeah. they boot them out. I am in the Philippines now. I will never turn my kids out of my house. They are too close to me. And there you have it, folks. That's the way it is in the Philippines. Yes. We don't kick our kids out of the house. No. We, don't, we take care of our family. Yes. It's multi-generational housing. It's great grandma. It's grandma. It's your parents. It's your children. They can live inside your home for as long as they choose. Yeah. That's part of the Filipino culture. So John, uh, who's from Norway, has become acculturated. That's the way we roll in the Philippines. They think about how difficult life can be sometimes and they want to lessen the burden of that. They want to lessen the burden of those stressors by practicing what most people practice around the world, which is multi-generational housing. The point here is that your children must be willing to contribute to the financial well-being or the well-being in general of the household. And that contribution can come in many different forms. It could come in the form of providing care for ailing grandparents. It could come in the form of working at McDonald's for $20 per hour, but don't give them any more than 20 hours per week. I call it Dan's 2020 plan. The reason why I'm bringing this up again is you have economists saying, oh, the economy is never going to recover unless kids go to work and earn as much money as their parents so they could buy a home. Well, that is a ridiculous concept. 
do you realize how far home values would have to fall for a kid who makes forty-one or forty-two thousand dollars per year working at McDonald's can't afford to buy a house? And that is the new economy of the United States and most of the world. It's a service-oriented economy, just like it is here in the Philippines. Folks here do not threaten their children with kicking them out of the house when they become 18. You can contribute by starting an Amazon store. Everybody's doing that. You can do that all over the world. You can do it from the Philippines. Why not? You can sell widgets. You can sell anything you want. Sell pet rocks. Make an extra 100 bucks per month net in your pocket. That's contributing to the household. Kicking your kid out of the house so they will go get a job where they can eventually afford a home is a ridiculous concept. Multi-generational housing is the answer. It's stress-free living. Why wouldn't you want to spend your time with your family? The American dream has changed. The price of a house in the United States would have to fall by two-thirds <coughs> before they'd be able to purchase a home. That's simply not the way things work here in the Philippines. They're given every opportunity and they get tons of support in order to become successful in their lives. My own Buntag. Get a grip on the new reality. Hi kids. Oh, thank you. Bless you. Hi, kids. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Most kids are achievement oriented, but they have a different way. They have a different way of approach. They're smarter than we are. They don't want to work as hard. They value time over money. And once you understand that, you're gonna make this thing work in your own household. Multi-generational housing is the key to get us out of this economic deadlock. You're gonna see big change in the next couple of years in the way the world works. But it's going to be very painful. Be willing to change is my advice for today. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And we will see you on the next one. There you go. There's a man enjoying his life right there. Built this house with his own two hands. There's the Bye Bye City Pier. And the water looks calm.